What's going on guys, the SSM back again with another video. Thank you for stopping by. I hope that you're having a great day so far. And today we're going to be going over and reviewing all of Miami's undrafted free agency signings up to today. Now, before we get started, if you're new to the channel and you're interested in Miami Dolphins content, do me a massive favor and like, subscribe, and also share this video with your friends so that they can also be completely up to date with all the moves that Miami makes this off season. With all that out of the way, guys, let's get into it. Now, I just want to say off the bat, I know probably all these guys are camp bodies right now, and there's no guarantee at all that any of them will make the team. So my assessment will be based on what I know of them and also what I think their value may be on Miami's roster if they make it. I'm not saying they all will. This is just if they ever do. Miami's first undrafted free agency signing was Robert Jones, interior offensive lineman from Middle Tennessee State. Robert Jones is a player who I definitely thought was draftable this year, and I anticipated he would go in the 6th or the 7th round. Miami signed him to a 3-year, $2.5 million contract with $130,000 guaranteed great move for the Dolphins. Jones played both tackle and guard in college, but I think lacks the mobility and athleticism to play tackle in the NFL. At guard is where it gets a little more interesting though, Jones is a mauler with extremely powerful hands who does not get pushed around on the line, making his pass sets acceptable. Like I said, the mobility is a drawback for Jones, so his work in the rushing game isn't the strongest, but with some coaching and development could definitely improve. He isn't the most talented offensive lineman, but with development, he could see some rotational minutes with Miami in the future. You can never have enough young offensive linemen, even if they're just camp bodies, and I think Jones has the potential to push and compete for a spot on our active roster. Miami's second undrafted free agent is Jerome Johnson, defensive tackle from Indiana. Jerome Johnson is a camp body who, if he makes our roster, will be a rotational player on the defensive line and probably a deep rotational player on the defensive line. This guy is no scrub in my personal opinion. He made first team all Big Ten honors his final year of college with four sacks and four and a half tackles for loss. And he's the first defensive tackle from Indiana since 1993 to make first team or better all Big Ten honors. I'm interested to see where Miami would play him at the next level because he does have some pass rushing capabilities and he's not too bad against the run either. Jones doesn't have the most consistent game but showed some flashes in college and has a really really high motor so I actually like that a lot for depth on our D-line. Adding guys who will compete for a spot on our roster and create more competition between players is always a good thing and Miami did just that with Jerome Johnson. Okay, I'm going to pair the final two undrafted free agents together because they'll most likely play the exact same role in Miami if they make the team. The last two guys are Jaitlin Eskew, defensive back from Georgia Tech, and Carl Tucker, tight end slash fullback from Alabama. Eskew was purely a special teamer in his final two seasons in college, so that will absolutely be his only role with Miami if he makes the team. As for Carl Tucker, I see him as a special teamer in Miami. He played four seasons with UNC and transferred to Alabama for his final eligible year in college where he won a national championship, but that does mean no familiarity with Tua. Through his 38 career college games, Tucker totaled 36 receptions for 549 yards and four touchdowns. So not very much usage in college, which means low tread on the tires if you want to look at it in a positive way. Take that for what you will. Tucker becomes the sixth tight end in a super clogged up group, so if he wants any shot at making the team, he's really going to need to stand out with our special teams unit. So those are our four undrafted free agency signings so far. I want to know what you guys think of these players, so leave your thoughts and concerns, comments, all that down in the comment section down below. And then also guys, we're kind of past that sweet spot of, you know, tons of videos that are easy to make. So if there's anything that you would like for me to make a video on, leave that down below in the comment section. I'll get cracking away on it just so I can get a bunch of content out for you guys. As always, I appreciate you guys stopping by to check out another video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share this video with your friends so no one misses a step this offseason. Have a great night, guys. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Fins up.